Yesterday, five men were jailed for more than seven decades for non-recent child sexual exploitation in Rochdale. Well, here to tell us all about it is GB News investigation supporter Charlie Peter Mbowe. Charlie did some great reporting in the Middle East after the war broke out. Thanks, Andrew. Well, there has been some justice in the Northwest yesterday after the, the news you just heard about Shine Downs, that very sad story. We do have news about five men being jailed for non recent sexual assault charges and indeed charges regarding rape as well. Their surnames are two men by the name of Ghani, Hussein, Kazmi and a man called Rhodes from Blackpool. This is for the abuse of two girls between 2002 and 2006. Some of the details of the offending are extremely horrific. But the abuse started in 2002 when girl A had a chance encounter with one of the men surnamed Ghani and that started a cycle of abuse, the typical routine mm. that we so sadly often hear about with these incidents of abuse gangs. Plied with alcohol and drugs, picked up outside their school, often met while still in their school uniforms. And this incident was only reported to police in 2015 when this girl, girl A, told on a parenting course detailed how she had been raped and abused by these men well over a decade before well, Rochdale Council passed this information to the police mm. and the police after this sentencing finally achieved yesterday mm. said that this is a multi-agency approach it's taken a long time but we've got there and they thank the victims for all their a long support time, even if she raised the alarm at 2015 and it's now 2023 yeah. that's another wow. eight years that well, took speaking this morning to Maggie Oliver a former Greater Manchester oh, yeah, whistle, she's a great woman. Yeah, Greater Manchester Police whistleblower she said that many of the survivors she's working with now are saying that the police and the council are taking far too long and the CPS has a tremendous back Log of trials, of course, we've seen this covered very, mm. very readily over the last couple of years. But when it comes to these victims, these survivors of abuse, keeping their trust in the authorities is so key to achieving that justice, mm. keeping them engaged with the work. And an eight year gap campaign is saying this point that's just far too it's long. Huge. It's just far too long. And so many of those survivors from that period, a two decade gap, of course, so much of the reporting from that time was a failure. Greater Manchester Police has admitted they didn't do enough. They are now worrying that they're going to lose the engagement of those girls in ongoing investigations. And often yeah. those girls, Charlie, in these, these terrible grooming gang stories were girls from difficult backgrounds, maybe broken Chaotic homes, family life. Perhaps in care. Vulnerable. And you sort of think perhaps the authorities just didn't care quite as much. Mm. Classism is clearly an element of there the failure is. for the reporting from two decades ago. There's no doubt about that. In many of the cases across the country, up to 50 different mm. towns where we've seen cases of child abuse rings mm. occurring in this style, it's clear that a classist element and was so, there. And, and you say the victim was on a parenting course, so she's now presumably an, uh, uh, was a new mother in 2015 when she made the uh, statement of what's happened. Well, so many of these victims are, are young women with yeah. their own families and their own lives. And I've met many of them over the last year investigating this work with GB News. And mm. many of them say, you know, they fear that the situation they went through in the early noughties and some in the 90s, there hasn't been a sufficient improvement and they're now raising their own children. Wow. In very briefly, oh. Charlie, there was also the race element too about the authorities not wanting because often mm. the gangs were from an ethnic background. Mm -hmm. Political correctness has undoubtedly been prioritised over the safety and security of women. This is an ongoing testimony made by victims and indeed many experts in the field support that view as well. And it appears to be the case that much of what happened in Rochdale, particularly with the failures in the early noughties to look yeah. into this investigation, was driven by a preference to look the other way if abusers were of a British-Pakistani background. It was British-Pakistani, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Thanks, Charlie.